welcome to my home. Today I would like to talk to you about a purchase we recently made and kind of give you a review of this piece of equipment we got. It is the Pure Steam Steam Cleaner. It is the model PS581X and it's a really great multi-purpose cleaner. We've used it all over our house. We've used it on our slate tiles. We've used it on our bathtubs. We've used it to take down wallpaper, which you'll see that in another video. We've used it to steam our curtains. It's just got a lot of great features to it. And we got it on Amazon for about $40. So it's really a good deal for the amount of money you spend for it. So let me open it up. And we'll go through some of the process of it. So it comes with a lot of attachments. Um, they're really very helpful. Some of the first attachments that we're going to go through. This one we used to take wallpaper off. It's been really great at doing that. It's got several other functions. It also has another attachment to it. Um, it's a squeegee attachment that you can use, and we use this to steam our curtains, help take the wrinkles out of them. So this is the first attachment with its additional function. And then it has this single cone-shaped attachment, and this is really great for getting into corners, getting around the seams. Um, we used it around the tub, and we used it in the corners of things when we had cleaned um, our sink in our kitchen that's kind of set down below our marble, um, and it gets some gunk around it. This was really good at um, getting that out of there. It also comes with an additional hose attachment, so if you need it for longer reaches when you're using this equipment. It comes with a measuring cup and a funnel. Now this machine holds a total of 350 milliliters of liquid, which is about 12 ounces. We found that um, it's better at around 250 milliliters, which is about eight and a half ounces of water. It makes the machine a little more easy to, to maneuver. So it comes with that. And then this is the actual machine. So as you can see, it has an on-off button. It has a lock feature, so when you turn it on, it takes a few moments for it to come up to steam, but this little light down here will turn green when it's ready to use. Again, you can lock it or you can push this button to unlock it. It's a safety feature. You don't want to um, make steam come out when you're not ready to have it come out. It has this attachment, or it's a nozzle up here where you put your water in at. Now there's another safety feature with this. Once this machine comes up to pressure and this has been put on, you cannot take it off. And then you can see here, this is where all the attachments fit onto it. Um, again, this is a great product for the price range that it's in. This is not a paid endorsement. This is just something that we found and it's helped us tremendously with a lot of our honeydew lists here around the house. So I thank you very much and I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Okay, we're gonna fill the tank on our pure steam cleaner and see if we can get off 50 year old wallpaper. This tank holds about 12 ounces or 350 milliliters. It is slow to fill. In the first fill, go ahead and do it close to the capacity. And then for while you're using it, just put in 250 milliliters or the about eight ounces. Every time I've tried to do the capacity after I started, it overflowed. So I had to end up 
having water go down the sides and have a towel and clean it up. So that seems to work better on the refill. Just do this cup's about 250, about eight ounces. Just do that. Okay, we have a tank filled. We'll set that to the side, plug it in, turn it on. It does have a nice little red light. Red means stop, don't do anything, let it warm up. That little light will turn green when it's ready. It's fairly quick, a couple minutes. The walls came out pretty good. There's a little glue left behind. We're gonna go back and steam that, get that glue loosened up and just take a towel and wipe the excess glue. I've done like this wall here. This wall here looks almost perfect. So we wanna go back with paint. We were, were, would rather have uh, paint on the walls because it's a little easier to change out paint colors than it is to strip wallpaper. It's almost there. You can hear the steam popping off. There'll be a few drops of water that come out. This uh, top, now that it's got heat in it and some pressure, you can't unscrew it. It's a, it's a safety device, so you can't unscrew it when it's hot. Our light has gone green, so let's try this sheet of wallpaper. Try not to rip if you see you're pulling sheetrock paper. Stop and heat it up there. Try to get that old glue to loosen up. Alright, that's about it for one tank. It's just about done. What's nice, it's not as it's more than a dedicated wallpaper remover. Like I say, it's a cleaner. We've used it on our towel downstairs, on the grout lines. And uh, the um, flagstones? Mm -hmm. Slate. Slate. The slate uh, tiles. And it worked really well for cleaning them on the grout lines. Like I said, we've used them on the tub and the corners back here in your sink that get really nasty, and the washing machine up around the top. So, won't make you watch all of the removing. We'll come back when we're almost finished. Okay, last piece of wallpaper. We will try to bring it down. It's not perfect. We're gonna go back and, like I said, steam the walls, get some of the glue off, then we'll spackle and prime and two coats of paint and we're going to let it go at that.